What's up guys, Dwayne Lulu here with Spots of Dots. So today we're gonna go out and try to catch some speckled trout. Um, I haven't caught any on the grass beds yet. So that's what I'm hoping to find. find hoping to find them on the grass beds today. So anyways, first I'm gonna start fishing along the shoreline where I was catching them before, just because I was catching them there before. Uh, if nothing happens there, then I'm gonna move off to some grass beds, see what happens. So hey, if you haven't subscribed to Spots and Dots yet, guys, subscribe to Spots and Dots. All right, so hey, y'all enjoy this video. Hope y'all enjoy it. See y'all out there when we start catching fish, guys. Uh, got the first trout of the day. Been doing a lot of fishing. So I found them here. But, uh, caught one, so better than none. I didn't get skunked. Drop my power pole for a minute. See if they schooled up here for a second. I've been looking for them for a while. <clears throat> Maybe there's some holding here. Let's find out, guys. All right. Looks like they might be holding out here. Got the second one coming in. I had to figure something out, guys. Matrix shad, ultraviolet, steady retrieve. On the grass bed, water is seems dirty from the surface, but you can see the lure in the water pretty good. So, I say the water clarity is not too bad. Another trout. They're not monsters. But I've been fishing for about a little over an hour and I just caught these two fish within the last three minutes. So, like I said, there must be a few of them holding right out here somewhere. Catch a few of them. See what happens. Maybe they get bigger, maybe they won't. I'm not keeping fish today anyway. Alright, here's another one coming in. So, oh, just lost him. So, anyways, apparently they're holding out here somewhere, guys. The third fish, I'd say within six or seven minutes. There's another one. There's another one. There we go. They're not giants, people, but the way it was going this morning didn't look like I was going to catch anything for a little bit there, so. I'll take it. Not a bad little fish. Here we go. All right. Looks like the runt of the litter right here. <laughs> uh, Get him back in the yeah, water. Got another one coming in. That's another one coming in. Not too big. Not too big. <laughs> Playing with my GoPro. I just want to get some footage of netting fish. Just trying to expand doing some different things. Most definitely did not need to net this fish, but trying to have a little fun. Mix it up a little bit. He ain't too big. Get him back in the water. A couple of casts and another fish. Another trout. It's rough out here. Conditions are not favorable for trolling along. So I got my power pole dropped. See that? There's a slick right out over here. I'm trout are out here. 
and you see a slick like that just out in the middle of nowhere when really nothing's going on there's some fish around Another small one. Another small one. Nah, I got somebody watching me. Woo! <clears throat> Get on in here. Nothing big. Nothing big. Oh, they got away right at the edge of the boat. That's all right. I'm good with that. Don't want to have to touch him. Kind of reminds me of fishing last night. So many hits. But yet we didn't catch nowhere near as many fish as the hits we had. The fish were just so small. He's a little bigger, but not keepers. Skinny too, huh? Uh, they holding on some grass or something right there. There's one. That feels like a better one. That one feels like a better one. Well, he did when he hit it anyway. Now he don't. <laughs> he was just determined to get that thing before anybody else did. Oh, no, he is better. He's a better one. Let's see if we can get him in. There we go. Not bad. A little bigger. I'll take them for sure him all day i still don't think it'd be legal but I, I, again i'm i'm not out here to keep them so i would be tagging them if i had some tags but i don't we used them all last night no he will hit 15 inch fish how about that that hook hook got him bloodied up a little bit let's get him back in and release him Oh, he's gone. He's gone. All right, got the blood picked, cleaned up, and made a couple casts. Another fish coming in, guys. <clears throat> Another one. My Matrix Shad rag right here. Nice little rag. I like it. Oh, looks cool. It's just, it's made with a good material there. I like it. I just cleaned my boat up with it a little bit. <clears throat> Get the blood off. Let's get another one. <clears throat> see if they out. See how long it lasts. There's one. Oh. Oh. He's on top. Shaking like a salt shaker. Whoa, whoa, oh my God, guys. Huge shark right underneath this dude. Wow. Whoo. That, I ain't gonna lie, that made me nervous just seeing him. Y'all probably wouldn't. Probably didn't see him on the camera, but man, he was right under this fish. He didn't come up and grab him, but hoo hoo hoo. 
Oh, wow. I say huge. I mean, it was about a five foot shark. And if you're wade fishing and you see that dude, you're going to be nervous. One reason I really get nervous when wade fishing. All right. This will be a keeper fish too. We're going to let him go. Let me get a pair of pliers and we'll get him off of here. All right. Got that hook out of him. Man. I'm nervous to release him outside the boat now, guys. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Anyways, <clears throat> he's a little over 15 inches. We'll let him go. All right, let's try to get another one. They seem to be getting bigger, so that's good. All right, got another one coming in. Let's see what we got. Feels like a good one. Better one. Another better one. Very nice trout. Very nice trout, guys. Good deal. Good deal. That's what we come after. A little bit better. Yeah. This might be 16 inches. Yep. 16. How about that. Yeah, and I'm still not, I'm still not uh, putting my hands in the water right now with a fish in it, so. <laughs> Hope y'all can understand that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This guy hit it right beside the boat. Another nice one. Another nice one. See if I can get him in. Yep. He hit it right here beside the boat, and... <clears throat> They're not hitting like they were, so maybe they moved. Maybe they moved right here on top of the boat. I don't know. Yeah, again, like I said, these are big. The last few ones I've caught are bigger trout, so that's a really good one. That one might be 17 inches right here. Have to see. Come there. Let's see what we got. Yep, 17 and a quarter. Nice trout, guys. Get him on out of here, let him grow up. So I was working close to the bank. I trolled along the bank for a long ways and I had something bite, cut my line. So I don't know if it was a bluefish, shark, whatever it was. Cut it quick there was no fight and then i had one other hit and that was it so kind of figured they weren't against the island so i figured i'd move away from the island so i moved off the island a little bit and i found these been sticking to it for a little bit and i'm back to the small ones again <laughs> little rinky dink but so for the last month and a half I've been coming out here trying to just waiting for him to be here on the grass beds and I haven't been able to fish between work weather and my lawn service so i don't know how long they've been out here they're obviously here today <clears throat> first good thump day a lot of thumps today I haven't had some thumps like that in a while they've been i've been catching them but they ain't been thumping it they just been kind of picking it up they thumping it today guys y'all know what i'm talking about got another one coming in going back to being small again <clears throat> they going back to being smaller need to find them big ones again this guy's just throwing crap all over my boat but that's a good way to see what they feeding on small one 
Yeah, that's a good way to see what they're feeding on sometimes and try to get your your lure to mimic it as best as you can. Should increase your odds of catching more fish. Thump. Oh, thump, thump, thump. Thumpy thump. This one's a little better. Get him in here. Oh, yeah. He's better. <clears throat> ah, settle down. Magneto guys. That one right in the corner. Probably be a keeper right there. Get him on out of him. Let him grow up. <clears throat> Here we go. Another one. Another thumpity thump. <clears throat> Another nice sized trout. Get him in here. Get him in here. Good one. Well, that didn't work. Oh, here we go. Come on, buddy. Settle down. I'm throwing you back. Another nice size trout, guys. It's measuring. I ain't got a picture with one yet. I need to get me a picture of a couple of them. Yup, 16 inches. All right, guys, let's talk a second about how I come across these fish, all right? So, I got a couple of spots I've caught fish on before, right here. Of course, it keeps flipping back and forth. Right here and right here, all right? So, I decided I was gonna fish this spot, this one. So what I did was I drove up to it. And I went past it a little bit. I knew which way the current was gonna, the current and the wind was gonna bring me. So I went past it, shut the motor off, and just drifted. And I drifted through that spot, and I kept going. And you know, as soon as I caught a fish, like the very first one, I told y'all I had him on. You know, the very first one I got on film here, and I went ahead and dropped the power pole. So. That's how I find my fish, you know, a lot of times. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. If you got a spot that you haven't caught fish before, and I've said on my videos before, just because you caught them in that exact spot don't mean they're gonna be in that exact spot. You know, fish around that spot, you know? Sometimes you just gotta find them, guys. So that's what we did, and that's what we're doing. All right, got something. I think it's a red, because it ain't come to the top. Oh yeah. So, there we go. Got that red. Got one of them anyways. <clears throat> All right. Oh, there he goes. The hat trick didn't work. <laughs> oh well, I'd let him go anyways. I wanted to put a tag in him though. All right, so I think I got another little small red. Let's see what we got. Yep. Another little one. Of course, the other one wasn't too little, actually. He was, he was a little bigger. Wow, this, this guy looks kind of dark. That tail. Usually it's blue. That looks kind of dark to me. Weird. I don't know. Hmm. Let him go. All right. Come back out where I was catching trout before. First cast. Another trout. Drop my power pole. Let's see if we can't catch a few more. I'll catch a few more to end the day. I'm we'll head to the house. Another small one, but. Another fish still. Here comes another small one. The 
and find them big ones again, guys. Need to find the big ones again. It's about the end of my day that I'm going to be fishing for today, so hope y'all enjoyed it. Caught a few fish, caught a couple of nice trout. So for now, this is Dwayne Lulu, Spots and Dots, Matrix Shad. We out.